Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Figure Games. A lot of people that watched the last episode of Figure Games were slightly confused of why I kept saying this is the wrong box or um, I've got the wrong one again. So let me clear this up right now. Um, basically, I ordered two separate orders from Madman, but because I ordered them within 24 hours of each other, they sent them packed in together. So I actually had two separate figure games planned, one being focused on the Dragon Ball Z figures, which was the last episode, and this one more focused on um, the other shonen. Well, most of it is shonen figures, but everything else, every other figure I bought. A couple of plushies, a couple of One Piece figures, um, Digimon, you know, all, all different series kind of mixed in. I thought it would be better if I separate them. And also they were already separated through separate orders. So yeah, to my surprise, they arrived together, packed in with each other. So that was kind of the confusing point. And I, it was kind of a guessing game, trying to open up which one and get the figures I wanted. And of course, I opened every single box without actually getting the figures that I wanted because they were all mixed in throughout them. That's just my luck in a nutshell. But anyway, that's the reason these boxes are already unopened. So what do you say we get started with the first one? Okay, so here is the first box, and buried in all the foam in this box is... I really regret doing that. My girlfriend is gonna kill me. Ta-da! This huge plushie of Gataman. So Gataman appears in the original, the first season of Digimon. She is the Digimon attached to Kari, that is uh, Tai's sister. She doesn't make her debut until I think a quarter of the way, maybe halfway. Uh, through the season, so she is one of the original Digi Destin, but she doesn't come in until later. So let me just get her out of this big bag here. And as you can see, she is a massive plushie, like way bigger than my hand. She rivals the big chopper I got. She's made by Van Presto, just like the chopper, and she is awesome. She's super white, really soft, and she has a little tag here. If you can see that with Kari on the front there, and the Bam Presto logo and everything like that. She's awesome, she has her claws, which I really like. Her character design is one of my favorite from Digimon. And she has her tail, which is actually stapled to the back of her head, I guess, just to keep it from dangling loose. She also has a um, hook, and I love that she has paw pads on the bottom. These have a really nice feeling to them. Just that extra detail, um, really cool. Her eyes are also really pretty. So there's Gataman. Next, the box that I also opened yesterday. We might as well get out the plushie. I have a second plushie here, and he is Sasuke from Naruto. So if you watch my first episode on the channel, that was my Mad Men unboxing. I think it was in that one. I got a Naruto plushie licensed with Viz Media from America, and this guy is basically the partner to that. So what do you say we get him out of this plastic bag? So yeah, this guy's not made in Japan, he's actually made in the US, but he's still cool. He's small, he has his hair flaps thing going on, he has the um, headband on that the ninja wear. So obviously this is Sasuke as a good guy before he turns evil. I don't even know if that's spoilers anymore because Naruto's seriously gone for so long now. If you don't know that, obviously you haven't been a Naruto fan. He has his little dagger type things here which are made of a foam. As you can see, his shirt has a logo on the back. He's got a pouch in the back of his pants and he's also um, got a little belt thing on his right leg, like a holster, I guess. Uh, he's got his like ninja sandal shoes on. So now Naruto basically has his old rival or his old buddy, Sasuke, and I think these guys are perfect going together. So I couldn't really have one without the other. I just felt like it was necessary. Having Naruto on his own, he looked a little bit lonely. So having Sasuke is the perfect match these two are obviously going to go together. Oh, I just realized Naruto has a gold uh, hook there too. Didn't realize that last time. So, um, back to Sasuke. Here is his tag, which has been bent. Not a big deal. I don't know why it has Naruto on it, but there you go. And there's the back, having like Viz Media, um, Shonen Jump, the website. You know, Great Eastern Entertainment, who made him. So there's Sasuke. This is one of the characters I wasn't familiar with with One Piece um, because he actually makes his debut later on in the seasons. I have only seen the first season of One Piece, so he doesn't actually appear in that. But I went to see Film Gold, if you've watched my video on that, and that was the first time I saw Brooke. And so Brooke is actually like a comic relief character. He's really funny in that film. So I assume he's funny in the One Piece seasons also, but this is a Ben Presto figure. 
um, which displays Brook kind of like a rock star, something, you know, especially this one. This is the original, okay, and this one I have here is the variant. So the original kind of displays him in like a Jimi Hendrix um, style outfit, something like that, like a 70s rocker. But this variant here actually displays him in black and white, which I prefer a lot because he looks a lot like Slash. As you can see on the front here, it has like a Marshall amp behind him and yeah, just his hairstyle and I guess his outfit and the way he's in black and white, it really resembles Slash from Guns N' Roses. I was actually lucky enough to see Slash at Soundwave 2013, I think it was. Um, and Slash has been one of my favorite musicians all through growing up, even to this day. So I just had to have this figure. I think it's really, really cool. Not super familiar with the character, but he is the Creator X Creator uh, variant version in black and white. So let's get him out of the box here. I like how the Banpresto figures, or at least all the ones I've getting, all their boxes have pretty much been uniform in their size. Um, so like their dimensions, but also their packaging. I know exactly what to expect when I open it up. It's simple, but it does the job. And this little frame thing, I do keep these as well as the plastic, just to hold the box together because I, st I keep the boxes up on the shelf in the anime room. Oh, this dude is freaking sick. I have to show you guys this. He comes in a massive plastic bag, which has one, two, three, four, five, six compartments. I don't know how well you can see that, but already I'm really impressed with the detail of this figure. So I'm going to open him up and put him together. Oh, yes. Here is Brook um, without his guitar. He is, this is three of the pieces put together. I would have showed you guys him separated, but I couldn't help myself in putting him together. The design is exactly the same as the colorful one. For example, he still has um, flowers on his pants. I wasn't sure if that was going to be the case or if they were going to completely redesign him. So only um, difference is the color scheme. So he has this black and white, gray kind of look. Um, I think they're trying to go for an effect where like, let's say the light, the lighting of a concert was put in like black and white, because as you can see, his hair um, has kind of like a gray tinge to it. And like, it looks kind of silly from the back like that. Like it looks like the back of his hair is kind of just gray. Uh, but as, like, if you look at it from the front, the angle it's supposed to be, it kind of looks like light, like a bright white light. It's kind of shining down, um, creating like a shadow effect on the rest of his head. But I have to say the paintwork overall isn't super fantastic. Uh, just with his sunglasses and things like that, there, it's a little bit, you know, smudged. It's not like fully in the lines. And also just down here on his crutch, um, the way his pants, his legs like joined to each other. It's not super great work, but... You know, I'm not sure if that's just this guy or, you know, all of them in a whole. Also, if you turn him around, there's a little patch on his back. I notice these fine details, um, so it's not really going to matter, you know, if I display him. But, like, there is a few things that don't quite look right, but I'm still happy with this guy. I especially like the detail on his shoes. I, I'm hoping you guys can see that. I'm going to put him on the stand and give him the guitar and show you guys the full effect. Okay, so here is his guitar. As you can see, it's shaped like a shark. Not super detailed again, I would have preferred it to be more detailed. Um, especially because this guy was one of the, like he wasn't expensive by any means, I got him for $30, but like, you know, just like not super detailed, especially the back, but I'm guessing the back isn't going to be on display. There's his skeleton hand, so I'm going to chuck this on. Oh my goodness! So as I'm trying to put his guitar in, you can actually move around his hands, like move his hands to something just fell off. Move his hands to kind of hold the guitar with both hands. Let me see if I can do that. That is kind of creepy. Yes! Okay, so as you can see there, I got his other hand in onto the guitar, holding it back above his head now. It was really creepy. You can move each one of his fingers individually and they're kind of like, they feel like they move like separate to each other and they, they don't feel stiff at all. Like they feel actually like <laughs> <laughs> like a finger. It was kind of creepy. I really didn't expect it to feel like that. But after a little bit of um, trial and error, I got his hand holding the guitar and I'm going to put his stand on. And tell me it goes like that. It can't go like that. No. <laughs> okay, so there he is. He is displayable in two poses, basically, um, his, well, I guess it's like a scarf, <laughs> his furry scarf thing is what actually holds him up, as well as his legs, so he's held up kind of like a tripod. Um, I originally, this I thought was like a stand that he sat on or something crazy, but... 
I'm pretty sure it's just like a microphone stand or something trying to imitate that. I don't think he actually attaches to that in any way. So I think it's just for show, but basically the other way you can actually display him is sitting down like that with the guitar over the back of his head. So yeah, there's Brooke, the variant X Creator X Creator from One Piece. Okay, so that is it for this nice green Madman box. I tried to show the Madman and I flapped up these. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Now we're getting into the final box, which is also open from the last video, because as I said, I had terrible luck and literally opened every box to get the figures I needed. So yes, there is three more figures buried in here by foam. Oh god. But let's uh, just put this... Where should I put this? Let's just put this down here for now. Keeping with the One Piece theme, here I want to show another variant by Ben Presto. This is the Dramatic Showcase, and this is Chopper. Oh, I'm getting a lot of glare on that. But yes, this is 8th Season Volume 1 Chopper, and as I said, this is a variant. Um, he comes with bandages on his face and stomach, and also a flag, so... Uh, the other one wasn't as interesting to me. I was considering getting both, honestly, but I honestly, like, preferred the look of this one, okay? So here is the variant right there. That was him just kind of with a black eye and holding something in his hand. Obviously, this is showing off a certain part of the series. I haven't seen it, uh, but, like, obviously he gets injured or something. But, yeah, I honestly prefer this variant with the flag. I honestly think the other one is just, like, it doesn't really do much for me. I think if you put that on display, it wouldn't really do anything for the character either. So this is the same series as the Goku and the Freezer I got in the last episode, hence the black box. So pretty sure anyway, let's get him open and show you guys what he looks like. Alrighty, this is how he comes with a head, a body, the flag and the base and an arm actually, pretty simple. Let's put him together. Let me just bring it back because I feel like I'm getting crazy glare. But if you guys can actually see that, his hat has this really rough texture to it. It feels really nice. And his antlers have the same um, effect as Brooke's fingers. They're kind of movable and squishy almost and feel like, like skin. It's really hard to describe basically. But yeah, I already love the feeling of his head. As I was putting his feet on the base, uh, his feet actually has like little hooves and... Oh, what do you call them? Like heels or something? Like pads? Heels? Like... I don't know what, exactly how you explain it, but kind of like the pads of a cat on the bottom of his feet. But obviously this goes on the base and, you know, they really didn't need to make that detail, but it's cool that they did. The holes of his feet... Okay, the holes of his feet had hexagonal shapes to them and the stumps coming up off the base were circles. So basically they didn't really go with each other and I'm like, oh, not again. Bitch, you are gonna go on. You are gonna fit. And I basically forced him on. He didn't have a choice. I was getting crazy glare off the window. Spring is officially here. So I had to move to this cushion thing, but basically I'm pretty happy with this guy. He was delicate to put together. He has a really small scale um, which is great because that's his character, it fits him. But yeah, like I love the detail of that flag too. Overall, really, really happy with this guy. He looks awesome. And I just think that this one does the character justice so much more than the original. So definitely happy I picked up this variant. And now we're gonna move on to the next one. Alrighty, so we have two left. This is also a One Piece figure, um, but the last one is not. So if I get this one out right now without getting too much of the foam out. This guy is definitely the biggest. Oh, is he as big as the Goku one? Alright, this box is already as big as the Goku one in the last episode, the Kamehameha one. So this is Usopp from One Piece. This figure has also been Presto, just like all the other ones, but this figure is actually called King of Artists. So the box looks freaking hella cool. Uh, and as you can see here, it has that guy in the back. Is he the King of Artists? I don't know, but this isn't part of, I don't think it's part of a series or anything like that, but already this box is just making me like think it's going to be an epic one, so uh, I, I knew I wanted this one, absolutely, definitely wanted this one, like this one, um, out of, like some of them, honestly, the last, uh, the Chopper one, I didn't really know if I was going to get, as well as some of the Dragon Ball Z ones, but this one was a surefire thing, so let's open him up and see what he looks like. Yeah, so already this guy is as big as the Goku one. I'm really excited to put him together. He comes in four pieces, so not too hard. And he doesn't appear to have a stand either, just like the Goku one. So 
Obviously it's of a similar vein. Gonna open him up and put him together. Okay, so here is all the pieces he came with. He has a black rock type thing, just like Goku. Um, probably to hold him up. There is his slingshot. Here's his bottom half, which looks absolutely amazing. It looks so detailed. I love the rips. Like, they look so, um, just natural, honestly. Uh, like, you can't really tell that this is actually hard, right? It looks like it's actually made of material, but it's, like, hard. Um, and there's his upper body, which, you know, again, like, all the details, like, down to his, uh, the scratches and stuff all over his arms, his hair, his face. Um, obviously it's an older version of Usopp, especially compared to what I'm used to, because as I said, I've only really seen the first season of One Piece. And his, his, uh, what do you call this, like a carry bag is actually movable and has its own plastic, which if I take off there, um, the bag looks awesome as well. So let's put him together and see the final product. So as you can see now, this Usopp figure looks absolutely amazing. I'm really blown away with the quality of this one. It was a little bit hard to put together, um, specifically the bag. I uh, had a little clip that went into the back of him, but I got him together in the end, no problem at all. Um, and yeah, he's just absolutely amazing, right? It was such a surprise actually how big he was. Again, I'm really happy that he is, um, he's probably going to be another focal point of my collection. I love how it's just an action shot of him releasing the slingshot and the slings kind of in motion releasing the ball. And one funny thing to kind of note is like his legs, um, it's not the same. Oh no, it is the same. Okay. It's the same with his, all his limbs are kind of like, um, flexible, like bendy, kind of like think of a Barbie or something like that, which is just <laughs> bizarre, but it kind of works really well with this guy. Um, his pants are solid and they don't look solid. That, like, they look like they're textured, honestly. Like, the detail is just amazing on him. He is one of many, uh, King of Artists is a line of One Piece figures. So it's not just him, but he, I just looked them up, but he's definitely my favorite out of them all. And so we just have one figure left. Now this figure in particular, I'm really excited about. Um, the box art is absolutely beautiful. So let me get her out and show you guys. Had to take her down here because I'm getting honestly so much glare out of the window. The sun is just going berserk out there. Uh, but here is Asuna. Uh, specifically from Alfheim Online, the arc where she becomes a fairy. And this is her fairy avatar. Uh, so the box is really nice. And again, she's a variant. As you can see there, you can also get her in these other colors. Um, I think this is the original one. I don't think this is the variant, but I definitely prefer her uh, white colors. And as you can see there, there's Yuki on the side. So this one's probably more tailored towards season two of Sword Art Online. But yeah, the box is really, really nice. So let's get her open and see what she looks like. I'm literally sitting on the ground right now. Mmm, that had like a smell to it. It smelled kind of like a texture. Like I know that doesn't sound good, but it was really good. Like that new figure smell. Straight from Japan. Oh, awesome. Okay, so she comes fully put together except, um, I don't know if you can see that, she has her sword there and also the sword's sheath. And there's the base. So let's get all these parts out and put her together. So yes, I am really happy with her. Um, there was some other Sword Art Online figures, specifically Asuna and Kirito, but I just felt like, oh, there was also some Yuki ones, but I just felt like they were kind of dull. Like they didn't have the same amount of detail uh, as this figure. Forgive me how the camera keeps changing angle. I'm just trying to find different uh, ways to get away from this glare. But yeah, as you can see, her face is really detailed and so is her armor, if you'd call it that. I'm really, really happy with her. So she looks absolutely epic. I think they got the color of her hair absolutely perfect as well. And she's really tall. I would have been interested to get a Kirito figure and kind of compare their heights to see how they compared because she is like honestly really tall. Like she has really long legs and kind of like a small upper torso, which I guess is pretty reminiscent of her character. Here is her sword, which I'm pretty happy with that as well. So there is one final shot of Asuna with her sword and also her sheath. Yeah, I'm really happy with this figure. I know um, the lighting probably doesn't look very good and she doesn't look all that good, but believe me, like I'm really happy with how she looks. I'm very glad I decided to buy this figure over some of the other ones. I just think the other ones didn't really look that good. Um, you know, just in terms of like their face, their facial animation or, uh, I keep saying animation, their facial detail or anything like that. But I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one from Asana. Anyway, my camera's about to die. So that was Figure Games episode five. Um, I hope you guys got to see everything you wanted to see and 
Thank you guys for being subscribed. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys.